this session, we're going to go over the basic steps for finding a few journal articles on a topic. This is not meant to be an explanation of how to do in-depth research. That requires planning and thinking about the kinds of evidence you'll need to find. This video is going to be mostly about the mechanics of searching. And along the way, I'll explain a little bit how all the articles in scholarly journals are indexed and disseminated, because knowing about that will help you use library tools efficiently. So, what is the process of finding journal articles on a topic? The library has a lot of databases that index journal articles by their subject. How do you know which one to use? So that's where we'll start. That's number one. The next step is knowing how to do keyword searches. Number three in the process is looking through the results list. What tips do librarians have for doing this quickly? Not missing the good stuff, but not wasting time on things that aren't very useful for your work. Number four in the process is refining your searches and improving them as you go along. And finally, the last part of search mechanics is how to locate the full text of the articles that you want. So let's begin. When you get to the library website, you want to look for the gateway to finding journal articles. On the Penn Library's homepage, you can click on the Databases tab. You have some choices. If you are really just looking for a way to get started, you can use EBSCO Megafile, which is a multidisciplinary index of journal articles. So you can search articles from all different disciplines, and you'll most likely find some good ones. If you're doing in-depth research in a particular field, you'll want to select an article index that specializes in that field. You can see that there are many databases at Penn. Clicking on any of these links will get you to databases for that particular field. Let's go to the next step, using keyword searching to find articles. Let's use a criminology topic as an example. So we'll select criminology and see what databases we might use. These lists of relevant databases are prepared by librarians. It's usually a good idea to start with one near the top of the list. Let's choose criminal justice abstracts. Now we can think about our keyword strategy. As an example, let's say we want to research how police forces plan for the security of spectators at big public events like sports events. Now we want to look and see which of these articles might give us a good overview of the topic. If you want to be efficient and careful about evaluating the results list, what should you do? The titles of articles can often tell you whether the article will be useful to you, but not always. Here are some other things to check. The journal name. For example, the first article here comes from a journal for IT professionals. So if IT security isn't your main concern, you know this article won't be of much use. Another thing to look at is the number of pages. A really short article might just be a brief news item and not what you're looking for either. Looking at the official subject headings for articles can tell you if you've used pretty good keywords. In this case, both security and sports events are showing up in the keywords, so this results list should have something that will work for you. If you need to refine your search, look at subject headings that match your topic. You can also always consult a librarian. For these results, if you scroll down a bit, you'll come across something that looks promising on the security of sports mega events. This article is over 10 pages long, so it's a substantial article. It comes from an academic journal, which lets us know that it will be well-researched and will very likely include citations to other good resources in its references section. And the date is recent, so the information will be current. We're now at the last step, getting the full text of the article. Notice that we're looking for an issue of the journal from 2014 Pen text is the tool the library uses to get you from the article citation to the actual full text of the article. Pen text is going to look across all the library's holdings to find you the best way to get your article. Here's what Pen text has found for us. There at the top is the link to our journal. So let's click and go to the journal. This is the web page for the journal. Now we just need to find the article on the journal website. Luckily, we know which issue we want. So we can click the link to browse by issue. And now we can navigate to our issue and find the article. We looked at a subject database, but you can use a similar approach using our tool Articles Plus. Articles Plus indexes many of the same journals as the subject databases we've encountered, but not all of them, so it's important to try both approaches. All article databases look a little different, but generally they work in the same way. Let's just quickly review where we started. To begin our search for articles, we were at the library's homepage, and we chose Databases by Subject. Even though finding articles online is mostly really convenient and fast, there can sometimes be problems because all these different databases don't always play nicely with each other. When you hit a snag, don't give up and don't waste a lot of time trying to work your way through it. Just call on a librarian for help. 
The Ask Us link on the library homepage can get you through to a librarian through online chat, by email, or by phone. And librarians have lots of experience getting past the pitfalls of online searching. Good luck and happy searching.